2020 Tantra, Crown Tantra info in the description. So uh, a friend of mine was asking me about telepathy. How do you know who you're talking to and when you're talking to people? Well, for you, it's, it's going to come down to the clarity in you, how clear you are within your system and how clear your heart is, how much how much, how heavy your heart is. That's what they say, weighing the, the, the feather of my eye against your heart. It's like how heavy your heart is, how much karma have you have you yet to undo. So really if your if your heart's clear and someone anybody else's heart that's clear, you can speak to whatever heart is on your level basically. So whoever is on your energetic frequency, once the heart is calm, then the energy can the spirit can the spirit is energy that can be embodied. So as that as the heart is calm through the breath, then the body can fully house the incarnation and the soul fully incarnates. So once that's happening, throughout the process you'll have different levels of communication. So once you become fully realized and the the thirty three vertebrae are in alignment, then you'll notice the numerology, the synchronicity in the numerology, because you'll get the call to breathe. So you'll get that moment where you get the this number, that number, this number, you'll add this up, the gematria, you get a number, a series of numbers. You always know that you're at the end of a gematria when you get a nine, because that's the end, or that would be the end of a sentence, or like a period, or a comma. It's the like end of a breath, basically. It's like living life breath to breath. So you get, you breathe, you get in the numerology, you get the synchronicity, you get to the end, you get to the next breath, and you get to a point where you get all the math and you, you realize who you are, or what the, the synchronicity is in that moment, depending on where you are in your life, what, what dots you're connecting. But once you become fully realized, then you really are a number. And you realize that your name has been a number the whole time that has just been flipped and has so many different parasites, different names that you created throughout eternity. But everyone has a number. And if you have a, a image and you know the number, then you can call on that cell within you and without and around you. So when when the hearts are clear, you can connect that way. Where You can talk through the colonist language or through emotion, however, through old languages that you once knew if you care to go back and remember them. So it's uh once you realize that the the synchronicity that you're getting the call to breathe, you'll get the number, you'll get the math quicker, you'll realize like, oh this is who this is. And the four is this person, seven is this person, nine is that person. It's only nine numbers, so it's pretty much the archetypes that are you that you've split and fragmented. A bunch of people probably equal the same number that you could call on throughout the world that are all the same that you that you could subconsciously synchronize with when you're thinking throughout the day. The more that you breathe, the more that your your thoughts won't be so subconscious. And then you realize people are connecting with you, thinking of you, and you will, you know, answer the calls and things like that. So it's um and whenever you and again, this is the same thing with having the children. If you're only be able to bring back somebody that you know. It's all conscious birth. So you gotta know that we only bring each other back the whole time. It's been you know, it's just been separation between consciousness and energy to where, in, to where we've attracted parasites that attract other parasites and we've been separated as a body of families and intermingled, but the energy is all still here. It's never any lack. So it's just separation is illusion, illusion of separation because of the scrambling. But through internal alchemy, the unscrambling can ensue and unfold in a, in a, in a more gentle way than we we've been seeing in, in times where we have upheavals and problems like that so when you know the numbers you uh, you or the, that's just the rhythms because again numbers are just shapes that you that are they're just used to describe the patterns that you see in your first eye that's basically what numbers are so if you know that the the gematria the shapes and numbers the amount of angles or angels in each number and the how it's just shapes and how they all make all the images you see in the first eye Numbers kind of don't even exist to you anymore. They're kind of an after effect of being the projector. They're, that's like studying yourself. It's cool to, to you know, flatter yourself, but at some level you'll know the numbers. When someone's calling and when to, you know, sit down and listen and all that. And that just comes with time with more breath. So that's what telepathy is. And it just, it comes with more clarity. And it's easier to speak to those that have clarity. So you'll just be hearing, the more clarity you get, the more that you'll hear you just here in general. You'll just be you're constantly channeling because it's it's no breaths off. So 2020 Tantra, Crown Tantra, info in the description.